guys, Matthew Bate here. Welcome to my YouTube channel and vlog. Today I want to talk to you about the power of vulnerability. And the reason I want to talk about this is recently I've been reading this book by a lady called Brene Brown called Daring Greatly. I couldn't recommend this book any more highly. She's also got a, a TED talk that's it's very um, widely watched called The Power of Vulnerability. You'll be able to see that on YouTube or I'll put the link to that below, but an amazing TED talk. And this book, Daring Greatly, has really opened up my eyes to a few different concepts and ways of thinking that's um, very liberating. And what she talks about in the book is how society has become so disconnected because we're all so afraid of being vulnerable. We're all so afraid of showing who we really are. And what that's costing us is deep and meaningful relationships, which really is, I believe, the core of humanity is connecting with each other in deep and meaningful ways. It really leads to a fulfilling life if you've got those sort of relationships around you. And the reason we're, lo we're, we're like that is because it, a lot of it dates back to our childhood experiences or even as we're growing up and we've associated very negative associations with being vulnerable. So to most people being vulnerable means weakness or it means uh, potential failure or being hurt because maybe we got hurt by someone in the past or maybe we had experiences of being teased or bullied or maybe our trust was betrayed. It could have been absolutely anything. We've all been through experiences like that. So what we do is subconsciously tell ourselves, I'm never going to expose myself like that again. I'm never going to put myself out there like that again. So we start living these, um, these restricted lives where we're putting on this facade and we're afraid to show our real personality. We're afraid to tell people what we really think about them or to connect on really deep levels or put ourselves out there and costing ourselves great opportunities because we start living in fear. And she talks about how a lot of it, especially for adults, results back to shame. And for men and women, there's different levels of shame, but we all feel the same way. So for women, she talks about how most of the time it's it's we feel you, women feel shame about not being uh, not looking young or pretty enough not being sexy enough not being um, a good enough mother or for men it's about not being strong enough not being a good enough provider feeling like we're failing our family failing our partners those sort of things and most people we, in society we, we're taught not to talk about it because that means weakness and so we bottle it up all up inside and no one really knows what's going on now this is just a minor example, but I remember back in the uh, when I was playing AFL, um, when I was going through hard times, like oh, maybe my confidence was down or I wasn't playing as well, I was really afraid to, to talk to my teammates and my coaches about that because for me that meant showing vulnerability, that meant weakness, and they'd think, oh, he's not cut for footy, he's not not cut out for it, he's not strong-minded enough, and so I just put on this this facade and yeah, everything's fine, everything's good, how are you? Yeah, good, all that all that bullshit, and you know, people. The problem is what that allows is for people to have certain perception so I might not be playing good footy and my coaches don't see me opening up about it and so they start thinking he doesn't really care really I care a lot but I'm just afraid to be vulnerable so really this book talks about breaking down those barriers letting go of that shame and being um, having the courage to put yourself out there and the funny thing is we're, we all deeply desire it, and that's why the people that we admire the most are the ones showing the most vulnerability. Like you even look at talk show hosts like Alan DeGeneres or Oprah. Look at how much vulnerability they show on their on their shows. Look at Alan running around on stage, singing, dancing, looking like a bit of a dag, and then getting with the, with the guests getting really deep, asking the deep questions and sharing about their past and their experiences. I remember reading Oprah's book and sharing about how she went through sexual abuse and problems with her weight and just bearing everything. It's just like wow. Most people don't have the courage to do that so you know when, when you start opening yourself up and you start letting people in you start building deep and meaningful relationships with people you start um, creating those connections which leads to a really fulfilling life so my challenge to you is to let go of that shame do something that is putting yourself out there being vulnerable. This, this is what I'm doing to challenge myself, these videos, so that I'm, it, it scares the shit out of me sometimes, but it's being vulnerable, putting myself out there, and you just don't know who it'll inspire. So, you know, maybe it's calling an old friend who you haven't spoken to for a few months. Maybe it's connecting with your mum and dad and, and having a real deep chat and being present. Maybe it's being more present, more real with your partner. Um, it could be being honest with your boss or your colleagues about what you're going through, being more honest with other people in your life and showing vulnerability so that you can help each other throughout the process. So 
Hope this, guys, hope this resonates, guys. Um, let me know your thoughts and comments below. Let me know what you're willing to do today or over the next week to show vulnerability and change your associations with vulnerability. Vulnerability is courage. Vulnerability is not weakness. There's a difference between being a victim and being vulnerable. Um, vulnerability is just being honest with people and that that is the ultimate courage in my mind. So hope this resonates and see you guys soon.